pretty. He'll live. What will become of you, little boy? If only I had something to give you. I haven't even my good name. It isn't much, but it holds a portrait of my dear mother. Goodness is reward. Remember that, my son, and live by it. If I'd lived by those words, I wouldn't have come to such an end. Keep this locket with you always. Perhaps one day it'll lead you back to your family. What have we here? Ooh, pretty. Gold, too. I think I'd better keep this for him. Wouldn't want anything to happen to it now, would we? Come on, then, you. Let's have you over here. Here, you hold him. I named the babies alphabetically for practicality's sake. Let's see. Last lad was uh, Swizzle. Swizzle. T. Twist. Oliver Twist. told you, Oliver Twist. I can have it when I'm 12. If? If I'm good. This is a workhouse, not a playhouse. Earn your keep or you get put out in the street. I want no trouble from you. Can I see inside? Please. You've seen it before. Please. <sighs> Died. Grosvenor Square. London. Was she my mother? Your mother was a filthy trollop who popped off the second she squeezed you out. <laughs> she weren't no lady. Then who was she? Get back to work. Go! Go on!
generous widow Corney. And bless the generous widow Corney. Amen. Amen. Whoever gets the short straw, gals up and ask for more. You can't ask for more. It's against the rules. You never do nothing wrong, dear Twist. Always the little gentleman. Draw. Go on, draw. I must be good so I can get something my mother left me. I well said. Draw. Go on, draw. Draw. Go on. Take it, take it. The end one. Go on, the bar. Don't take that one. Take, take the middle one. Good luck. Go on, Oliver. Go get some more. What's the matter? Are you scared? Please, man. Could I have some more? Therefore, pride oh, composite them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Yes, ma'am. I want some more. What did you say? Please, ma'am. I want some more. Nobody asked some more in my workhouse! See how you like sleeping in the gutter and eating in the cold. <laughs> my locket, ma'am. I need my locket. Take it, Daddy, when you were 12. My birthday's tomorrow. I'll be 12 tomorrow. Oh, you promised to be good. Goodness is rewarded, remember? Well, so is badness. And now you know how. Mine were recorded. My mother gave it to me. Please, we were recorded. Please. Get out. My mother, it's mine. Get out. My, my mother, mother gave it to me. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine.
No, you don't. Better come with me, young lad. I didn't do anything wrong. I was gonna snitch that apple and get yourself caught. There ain't nothing wronger than that. Stealing's an art. I don't know with amateurs mucking up the business. Look, but I wasn't trying that to. That old codger nabs you. He raises a stink, and pretty soon the market's crawling with flicks. And what happens to the likes of me? Just trying to make a dishonest living for himself. Sorry. What's your name, me flash companion? Oliver Twist. Got lodgings? No, I was hoping to find Grosvenor Square. Tell you what, I know there's a kindly old gentleman who put you up and give you a proper meal in a particularly delightful corner of London. What's impossible to find, but she got some reliable guide who knows the way. Do you know the way? What do you give me? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I don't have anything. The man with something to steal is me client. The man without a farthing is me pal. Jack Dawkins is the name. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dawkins. But me nearest and dearest calls me Dodger. The artful Dodger. How's the missus? Spare some barley, will you? Come on. There's where the old man lives. Move along. You've got to promise me you'll never tell nothing you sees or is in this place. I promise. You know what peaching is? Telling. Tattling, snitching, squealing. It's the worst thing one man can do to another. Don't worry, Dodger. I'm very honest. Why me? I never said nothing about honesty. Here it is, then. Dodger, welcome back. Dodger, how are you doing, mate? What you got then? Who's the kid? What's going on? Look at what I've got for you. Dodger, what you got for today? Choice pickings today. Oh, that's nice. Where's Fagin? Fagin! Fagin! It's my special pleasure to introduce you to my new mate, Master Oliver Twist. Oliver, my dear, it is an honour. Pleased to meet you too, sir. What a polite chap. Obviously raised under the best of circumstances. Mm. Well, what a clever lad. Comes with his own gift. Please, sir, that's the only thing I have in the world. Please, don't take it away. I'm hoping it'll help me find my family. Oh, we're your family now, my dear. <laughs> What's that cologne you're wearing, eh? French? Essence de pig? Yes, the hospitality for which we are famous. New rags for Master Oliver. Let's go. Let's move it on. Come on. Let's Are you feeling hot enough for a spot of breakfast? If you have a scrap of bread, sir. Come on, Oliver. Eat up, son. Eat it, Oliver. You're hungry, aren't you? Have us some bread, Oliver. Eat the crust.
we let you rest now, my dear. Here in our humble things, we like our fun, but we also like our peace and quiet contemplation. Well, no need to knock so courteously. Our home is yours. <laughs> My favorite dog. Where's the wages? For a job I done last Sunday. Ah. Now, those items didn't quite Don't fetch as much give as me I none of your excuses, Fagin. Uh, then can examine the receipts. You know how fastidious I am about my records. <laughs> Hello, lad. Hi, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Bullseye. Cheat me at your own risk. Bullseye, Fagin. come here. Bullseye, come here. There's a good dog. Nancy. <laughs> you bring a breath of spring into the winter of an old man's life. Rubbish. Who's this, then? Bit of a twist, miss. And he's a polite one. Uh, nothing but the best quality of boys here, my dear. Where's your parents, Oliver? I haven't any. I'll be a mum, then. Would you like that? Very much, miss. Nancy! Stop your sniffling! Get out of here! Look at this, will ya? Got a feeling the old miser's filching me again. <laughs> Boys, uh, Mr. Sykes and I have business to discuss, and you all have uh, duties to attend to. Off we go! Oh, Stay close on Oliver. Let no harm come to him. He'll be all right. Come along, Oliver. Look sharp. Plum pudding coming our way. Be off with you. Be off with you. I'm happy for you. Be off with you. I'm happy for you. Be off with you. They want nothing to do with you. He's refined. Can't be bothered with a lot of stinking little beggars. Now go on. Thank you, young man. A penny for your trouble. Not at all, sir. Why did you steal his pocketbook? Didn't you see the way he looked at us? Like we was trash. <laughs> and the little lady held her hanky to her nose so as not to smell us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the oysters are on me. Roger, how long have you known Mr. Fagan? Since I was nine. He found me sleeping in an old crate. All froze to death. So you don't have a mother or father either? Yes, no. And me dad's a rampot and me mum's a feast for the worms. I'm sorry. Those chestnuts. Ah, who needs them? I'm gonna find my family if it takes me my whole life. You? What for? All they'll do is just all you about, yell at you for getting in trouble, and make you grow up to be a gentleman. And what's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. Yes, if you want to give up your freedom, then fun, and everything else would live and form this miserable, rotten old world. There's lots of goodness in the world. Catch not! Where'd you learn that? In the workhouse? I just know. If you're good, good things will happen to you. Good with your fingers and fast on your feet, you mean? There's lots of kind people, like Fagin. Ah, uh, Fagin's kind, when there's something in it for him. And Nancy. Nancy's all right. But there's enough bad in Bill Sykes to make up 400 Nancy's. And you, Dodger. You're my friend. <laughs> A friend's just an enemy in disguise. You can't trust nobody.
how long you've been awake. Speak up. I, I just won't, sir. Did you see any of those pretty things? They're mine. They're all I have from my old age. It's a terrible business growing old. I never intended it to go this far, but if you steal from me, I'll slit your gullet. Capital punishment is a fine thing. Dead men never bring their awkward stories to light. Understand? Yes, sir. Did I frighten you? Tell me, sorry. <laughs> Just to... <laughs> if anything ever happened to that box, I'll be out on the street with a tin cup. <laughs> That's a, not a pretty picture for someone my age. But I don't have nothing to fear from you. Do I, Oliver? No, sir. Now, do you think you could get back to sleep now? I, I think so. Well, here's a good lad. I'm very glad to have you here. That's how you'll be very happy. Fagin, is my locket in there? In that box? Oh, yes, my dear. It's very important. It's all my mother left me. Ah, well, then, the uh, safest place for it is in this box. <laughs> we are surrounded by thieves. Away. Mm. If I had the crown jewels, my dear, you'd get at least a tiara. Oh. <laughs> Oliver, what a delight to see your smile and countenance this bright day. Morning, Fagin. Morning, Miss Nancy. Morning, Oliver. Where's the daughter and everybody? Already off to work. I'd like to work, too. Mm. All in good time, my dear. First, have a cup of tea. Nancy, would you pour him a cup? Go on, Oliver, sit down. staring at. Did I forget to wash my face this morning? You're the prettiest lady I've ever known. And you ain't known many, have you? No. You're a nice little monkey, aren't you? What are you? Twelve? Seems thirty years since I was twelve. You're young, Nancy. I wasn't much older than Oliver when I met up with Bill. Very pretty. Of course, he was different then. None of us have stood the test of time as well as we might. Ah, it's a strenuous life. But a merry one, too. Bill ain't gonna like it if I come home empty-handed. Come on, Fagin. Open up them purse strings, Fagin. All right, you can give him this to keep him happy. <laughs> You're robbing me blind. Well, what can I do? He's a legendary thief and murderer, and I'm an helpless old man. Bye, Oliver. Bye, Nancy. Lovely, isn't she? <laughs> Likes a bit of fire in the ladies. Do you not have a wife, Mr. Fagan? Mm, alas, no. Alone. Except for my boys. Even they will leave me someday. They'll all grow up and go to jail and... Then what will I have? I won't leave you. Well, uh, you warm my creaking heart. Would you like to play a little game? I like games. The Dodger taught me some. Ah, you always listen to the Dodger. Ah, you make him your model. Now, you see this handkerchief sticking out of my pocket just a little bit? You see that, my dear? Yes. Do you think that you could take it without my... Noticing. 
You think you could do that? <clears throat> Caught you never let yourself be caught, my dear. Sorry, sir. Now, no need to apologize. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Excellent work. Clever lad. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a more clever lad. Here's a shilling. A whole shilling? Hmm. I've never had a whole shilling before. No, you aren't Fagin, and you'll see many more like it. It's stealing, the work the boys do. Uh, not uh, stealing, uh, per se. Uh, more like uh, redistributing the wealth. Uh, you see, like... Uh, we take from the rich, me, which is uh, them, and uh, we give to the poor, which is, uh, which is, uh, which is us. <laughs> it's uh, kind of like uh, Robin Hood. <laughs> you have heard of Robin Hood? He was a great man. Yeah. He was. He was a great man, and you yourself could be a great man if you listened to everything I say. Now, all right, it's time you got started in your life's work. I hereby declare you, officially, an apprentice in our happy little band. May you bring honor and prosperity to yourself and your humble instructor. <clears throat> Off you go. Off you go, join the other boys. Die your trade. Be distribute all day and all night. And then bring everything back. Boy, sound kid caught. Jimmy Tate got himself caught. What happened then? Ah, he matriculated to one of the finest institutions of higher learning in the country. Got thrown in jail for two years. <laughs> Think of all the knowledge Jimmy's accumulating in there. Locked up with the greatest thieves in London. What's got nothing to do but teach them everything they know. I wouldn't like to go to jail. Ah, don't worry. I'll look out for you. Dodger. Someday, could we go and find Grosvenor Square? What for? That's where the lady in my look at came from. Oh, you don't want to go sticking your nose in flash places like that. Why? Aren't you happy where you is? I'm very happy. But what if Fagin dies? He's pretty old. What will we do then? Ah. We'll have our own gang. I'll be captain, you'll be my lieutenant. We'll be notorious. We'll be so fast and slippery that the traps will never catch us. Wanted. Oliver Twist. No. Reward. One hundred pounds for his head. The greatest thief Landon has ever known. I can just see it now. <laughs> Do you know what day this is? No, sir. This is the day you pick your first pocket. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> is a great day in the life of any boy. But especially for you, you've only been with us a mere three months. You've been observing with an eye of an eagle. You've been studying with the mind of a great and scholarly student. Now you get to 
put that encyclopedic knowledge to use. I would like you to recite the three golden rules to me. Not every bucket is filled with gold, but check it anyway. Check it anyway! Yeah, perfect. Crime doesn't pay unless you work at it. Unless you work at it! Yeah. And three? If you get caught, never have a peach! Never have a peach! Engrave! Yeah. Engrave that one on your heart. Well, that's all I have to teach you. That's all the wisdom contained in this feeble mind. You're ready for the world. Yeah! This is a grand day, Dodger! Fuck I want him to have a successful professional career! I don't know if I can... Make it... Well, Mr. Courtney, how much is this volume? Now he's asking the price. You don't want no witnesses. Right. Now he's back reading. He wouldn't notice if you put a firecracker down his drawers. Good luck, mate. Thief. Do you remember what happened when Jimmy Tate got pinched? Eh? We had to move our lodgings. We had to go underground for months. Calm down. Jimmy was a squealer. All of her ain't like that. Uh, the police have ways of making the most loyal boy turn traitor. You can trust Oliver. He's true. Where do they take him? <coughs> Oliver. Has matriculated to that well known institution of lawyer Lennon. Go quickly! Go on! Find out what happened to him! Make yourself useful, you! You selfish, spoiled little scoundrel! That boy stole my watch. He's one of a gang of young hooligans terrorizing London. He's an outrage to society and should be put away. What's your name, boy? Oliver Twist, sir. Peculiar sort of name. Obviously an alias. Where are your parents? I haven't any, sir. Did you take the watch? No, sir. It was an Alpha boy. Your Honor! No. Your Honor! Excuse me! The child is right, Your Honor. I saw the entire incident. Who were you? What were you doing in the street? Soliciting? I am Mr. Brownlow's niece. I was shopping at the bookstall when the theft occurred. The bookseller saw it too, Mr. Courtney. Tell them. It was a lad with a top hat who stole the watch, Your Worship. Is this boy in a top hat a friend of yours? What's his name? I can't say any more, sir. Answer. 
Six months for contempt of court. Next case. You know, this boy doesn't need a jail cell. He needs a good home and people to care for him. And then he'll have a chance in the world. You condemn him for six months and you condemn him for life. Why should you care what happens to him, young lady? How can you not care? All right, young gallows, you're released. And I'd advise everybody in this courtroom to watch his pockets. Next case. Oliver Twist. What? Thank you for speaking up for me, miss. My name is Rose Maley. Where do you live, Oliver? With a kindly old gentleman in a deserted warehouse. It's lovely. Have you no family at all? I don't know, miss. How would you like to come home with my uncle and me? Sleep in a proper bed, have proper clothes, and proper meals. A kindly old gentleman, he'll be expecting me. Why don't you try it for just one night? I think you'd like Grosvenor Square. Grosvenor Square? You mean you live in Grosvenor Square? Yes, I really live in Grosvenor Square. <laughs> Oliver Twist. He's going to be staying with us for a little while. Um, we give him the north bedroom with a view of the garden. It's running a nice warm bath and, uh, and uh, I think I'll send for the tailor to make him a brand new set of clothes. Come along, Oliver. So, when the little lady came up to Oliver, what did she say? Did she mention where she was taking him? Let me think. I'm sure it'll come back to me. It just needs a little encouragement. Yes, now, what was it there? Uh, something about Grosvenor Square. There. Uh, Brownlows. All right. You'll be seeing my sand in the morning. I'll take my port in the library. Very well, sir. Good night, Oliver. Very pleasant having you with us. That's her. Who? The lady in my locket died Grosvenor Square. 1823. Who was she? She was Mr. Branlow's wife. My aunt. Where is this locket? Let me see it. Fagin's got it. Mm, the kindly old gentleman. He's keeping it for me. What does it mean? It means... It means your mother could be this lady's daughter. It means you could be Mr. Branlow's grandson. And heir. Agnes was my uncle and aunt's only child. But she was disgraced. How was she disgraced? She was going to have a baby. But the father was a married man. She went to London and we never saw her again. But she always wore a gold locket with her mother's portrait in it. And if it's the same locket, would we be cousins? Yes, we would. We have to get that locket back. He didn't peach in court. He could have told on all of us. Bill, stealing him back is too risky. He's in good hands. Leave him be. Leave him be? You all wants to put our lives in the hands of a little orphan boy who hasn't stole nothing in his whole life? 
Leave him be! The trap's been after you for years, fake it. If Oliver sings, you might as well go and knock on the tower door and ask them to show you yourself. As for me, they'll string me up the second they catch me. If the crowd don't tear me apart first... Bill, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that! Don't you talk to me like that! Hey, leave her alone. Leave her alone. You... You deserve a flogging for letting them get caught in the first place! Well... Maybe, uh... Impossible, Bill, but, uh... You're making sense. Oliver knows a bit too much, for comfort's sake. I drop a word in the wrong place. I'm telling you, he won't. Not on purpose! Just in casual conversation, and then the game is up. That's what I'm telling you. We've got to get him back. All right. What do you propose we do about it? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Nancy. Nancy could help us out. Couldn't you, love? Hey? Good morning, Uncle. Good morning, my dear. Well, we've kept Oliver cooped up here an entire week. He needs fresh air and exercise, so we're going to the park. Yeah, yeah. I have a better idea. Oliver, come here a moment. How would you like to take these books back to the bookseller? They will get you fresh air and your exercise. Very much, sir. They're very rare. I'm entrusting them to you. I'll be very careful with them, sir. It's the same bookshop where you... Uh, where your companion stole my watch. So you believe me now? But I didn't steal the watch. <laughs> Oliver, when you first came here, I fully expected to wake up one morning and find the whole house emptied out from top to bottom. But you have been a very pleasant guest. Now, take this to Mr Courtney, and he will give you half a sovereign change. Take that ten shillings and buy yourself whatever you like. Really, sir? Ah, that little task shouldn't take more than um, 30 minutes. I'll be back in 20. <sighs> 20 minutes, sir! the work I wants the money. You can't do this. The money, the books are Mr Brownlow's. Mm. He sounds like a prosperous type. 
Perhaps we should explore this brown low, Will. And what's the matter with you? Hey? Where was you when I needed you? <laughs> what did you tell Mr. Brownlow? Did you preach to him? No. And uh, did you tell him the whereabouts of our cosy little hovel? No. Did you mention any names like Bill Sykes or Nancy or uh, any of our other dear compatriots? No. And most important, what did you say about dear old Fagan? Only that you're a kind old man that took me in and was nice to me. Oh. I told you he wouldn't peach. Hmm. Oliver, Hello. you've fallen into the hands of the enemy and you've acquitted yourself with honour. Please give me back the five pounds. Mr. Brownlow will think I stole it. <laughs> you've got to start your reputation sometime. I'll prove I didn't steal it if it's the last thing I do. Ow! By your word, that's a bit tarnished right now, don't you think? <laughs> Besides, who needs little boys like you? Other than Mr. Fagan. Leave him alone. And you've done enough harm for one day. <laughs> There's no quota on harm, don't you know? You'd betray your own mother if you ever had one. Well, in that a moot point. My mother's dead, so we'll never know. <laughs> Stick. Still no sign of him? No. I knew it. A penniless antique, nearing senility. Don't give me that. I know exactly what you does. <laughs> well, I'll exploit them, as it were. I use them, I do. Feeds them. Put a roof over the head. Mm. Look after them when they're sick. I do, I do, I do. But uh, it's not a charity. I'm just looking after my investment. Well, make sure you protect our little investment over there, will you? Hi. Sounds unlikely, Bill, but I don't quite follow. Well, see, I has a plan, don't I? For our little friend, Oliver Twist. Why has a plan? You must do everything Bill Sykes says, and you'll come to no harm. What will he do with me? Uh, employ you. Study his ways carefully. He's a genius of a kind. And since he's going to be hanged someday soon, gather ye rosebuds while ye may. I'll be back. I'll get some beer. They must hate me now that I lost the five pounds in the books. You can't do nothing about it, so no use thinking on it. Go on, give the bangers a try. Come on, try some. Yeah. Who do you think that is? He looks a bit like Mr. Sykes. <laughs> it is Bill. Well, when I first met him, handsome, ain't he? He was me knight. I had no family, no home, nothing. He took me in. He weren't so bad back then. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, Did 
did you like staying in that gentleman's house? He was lovely. Was he nice to you? Yes. And there was a beautiful young lady, too. More beautiful than me? In a different way. Come on. I'm taking you back there. Before Bill goes back, come on. There he is. I'm sorry, I can't take this back to the moment. Just you stay close to me. Where are you going? It's just going to look for you, Bill. Told you I was coming back, you know? I was worried you was angry with me. Couldn't leave the boy by himself, could I? He might escape. something of mine locked up and I want it back. Fagin? Do you know where Fagin keeps his treasure? He has a secret place. Well, maybe me and you could uh, form ourselves a little partnership, eh? Yeah. What does the lock look like? This isn't the way to Fagin's. Where are we going? Be quiet. Get out there. Go on. It's Mr. Brownlow's house. Yeah. Don't make me steal from Mr. Brownlow. Shut up, will ya? <clears throat> All right? Yes, sir. Silver left. I never saw any silver. Huh? The dining hall. Go on, eh? Quick. Hold or I fire. Don't you do it, Oliver! 
This one saved my life. Ah, uh, well, pity. Uh, <coughs> that's a flatter, I mean. Uh, uh, still, it can be melted down. Yeah. We would have had the lot. But the boy here, he dropped the bag, didn't he? It was an accident. Leave him alone. Ah, uh, children, children. Let's not quarrel. Uh, the evening, though not a complete success, did show a profit. Yeah, and he wants some takings now. Uh, now, Bill, that won't be possible, you see. Uh, all this needs careful appraisal. Uh, why don't you uh, come back tomorrow? Hmm? Yeah, all right. I could, uh, I could uh, see, uh, see my way to giving you a uh, uh, tiny little uh, advance. You've been cheating me for years, Fagan. It's going to stop. Hey, partner. You coming? Nancy? You going deaf? thinking. The worst thing that ever happened to you was when the Dodger stopped you from snitching that apple and brought you here. I'm not thinking that. You've been the greatest friend they ever had. Huh? Remember what I says about friends, mate? They turns up enemies sooner or later. It's just that tonight Mr. Browner saw me stealing his silver and Sykes could have hurt Miss Rose. The Dodger, it's not a game anymore. Never was a game, mate. You just thought it was. If he ever gets a chance to escape from here, I wouldn't blame you. Living in that posh house, servants and all. Maybe getting a bit of education. Now, I ain't saying it's for me. I'll be off my inches in no time. You look like you belong there, mate. Nah. Ain't my cup of tea. But if he gets a chance, go back there and stay there. she goes. Whatever she does. Cheating on you, is she? Watch your mouth. Why is you having me follow her? Don't ask questions, just do it.
I wouldn't have let her in, sir. But she says she's got news of Oliver Twist. I want to hear nothing more about that boy. I let him into my good graces and he took full advantage of me. Do you think I'm such a fool as to make the same mistake twice? Look, I can't wait any longer. What's the meaning we... of this? It's Oliver. He's in terrible trouble. I'm not surprised. He's stolen my money, my books and half my silver. He was forced. They held a gun to his head. Uncle! is one of the best little boys I've ever known. Look, Miss, no, you no, really must go. No, if you want to hear about all of us, wrong. So you must be the beautiful young lady he spoke about. Who spoke about me? Mrs. Bedwin, let her go. Oliver Twist. What about Oliver? Where is he? Headed for a jail cell or worse, if you don't try and help him. Look, it was me helped steal him back when you sent him off with the books and the five pounds. I knew he had to have been forced. Look, they've got him now, and they won't let him go. Who are these people? Is it that man, Fagin? I ain't naming names. <sighs> All we try to make me, I'll leave. No, don't! Don't go! All we care about is Oliver. Can you bring him here? No. I'm not here. Maybe somewhere. I, I asked to think. I... We'll meet you anywhere, at any time. If you need money, we'll pay whatever you want. All right. Tomorrow night. Where? It's so busy. I... London Bridge. I'd... I'd have to wait till a friend of mine was asleep. I... Midnight. Midnight. Okay. We'll be there. You will take good care of him, won't you? You've been doing the job what I paid you for. Sure. The fella's the old girl. Playing me false, is she? Not her. True as hell, pulls on his nets. I'll have the other bit of me pay now, if you don't mind. Are you hiding something? No. Well, tell me what she's been up to, then. Nothing! I'll kill you. I've been meaning to kill you for years. Now, tell me! I'll say your prayers. She's meeting them swank gnolls from Grabner Square tonight, on London Bridge. She's taking all of that to me. You're lying to me! Why should I believe you? You're nothing but a lying, cheating little thief, ain't ya? One of the best. She wouldn't turn on me. Sure, I gives her a slap now and then. That don't mean I don't... Sorry to be the bearer of bad tidings. That'll be half a guinea, please. Hey. Half a guinea. Please. Surprise for you. I knows with them grabbing their square silk stockings of yours is going to be Mr. tonight. Rose, Mr. Brownlow. London Bridge. Nancy was going to take you to him, only Sykes got wind of it. Don't know how, because Phil's got a spies. So, um, I'll take you there myself. Dodger, I've got to get something. I'll meet you at the bridge. Look for the blokes with the deepest pockets. That's where I'll be. Bye. Come along. Very well. Thanks, all right. Come along. Come along. You. You was followed yesterday. Don't lie to me. It's not what you're thinking, Bill. 
Didn't think you'd double cross me, no. She's for Oliver, Bill. Everybody else, yeah. Not you. I was just trying to help him, Bill. Oliver. Trying to get back at me, did you? No, I wouldn't, Bill. Because I used to knock you about. Oh, I swear to God on my life, Bill. Strike before you get struck, that's what I know. No, I wouldn't try to harm you, Bill. <laughs> Something must have happened or she'd be here. Rose, let's go to the police. No, no, not yet. Not while there's a chance to bring him. Bullseye? What are you doing here? Love a twist. What's that you got there? I think. Bring her over here. Put it down. You ain't gonna give me no trouble, are you, boy? What's that in your hand? We could have been partners, me and you. We could have made a great team. All I want is my locket, Mr. Sykes. You can have everything else. Why ain't that generous of you, Master Twist? You've been nothing but trouble since the day you turned up. I've got to put an end to that. Go on, kill me. I don't care. I don't want to live in a world filled with people like you. Like me? What do you mean, like me? There ain't no one like me. There ain't no one like Bill Sykes. What do you mean by that? This widow Corny, she starved me and stole from me. And Fagin, he had me kidnapped. Kidnapped? They're amateurs, nobodies. At least you can say you got done in by the worst. Better night. Oh, old man he should be spending his time in sunny climate. <laughs> Bill, where did you get that? Your little apprentice here. He snitched it. All of that. So, you turned out just like the rest of him. Was this the girl you were supposed to meet? Yes, that's her poor creature. God rest her soul. Is that Bill Sykes, stock? <laughs> He's gonna take us to him. Go on, boy. Did a good job. Go on. Go on. I'm taking this box. I'm leaving London. You ain't never gonna see me again. Bargain, Bill. Uh, uh, we split the treasure. One third for you, two thirds for me. That's fair, isn't it? You slay me, Fagin. All the years we've worked together, Bill. Years of you robbing me blind. You're young, Bill. You've plenty of time to make your fortune three times over before you swing. 
It's all I've got in the world for my old age. You thieving idiot, old... You're as old as you're gonna get. Damn you for what you did, Bill Sykes! What do you mean, Dodger? Look. He killed Nancy! I... He made me peach on her, then he killed her! He killed Nancy! Nancy loved you! That was a terrible mistake you made, Bill. She was gonna hand Oliver over to them sweaty people. Then the game would have been up. I did it for all of us! A terrible mistake. <laughs> in front of me while someone's shooting at me tonight. Sykes! Get out now. That's what you get for peaching on Nancy, Dodger. took him up on the roof. He took the only means of getting up there, too. Go on, get over there. Get out. Go on, move it. Down the courtyard, please, hurry up. Move it, come on. Get up there. I hope you're watching me, boy. I should be charging you for the education I'm giving you. This is where me and you parts come. I swings across there. I slips down to the docks aboard the ship and eyes off to China. No. We need this one clear shot of him. No, no, the captain of Oliver. What are you doing, boy? I want my locket! Give me the box. No! I said give me the box. No! Ah. Lesson from Mr. Fagan to Master Twist. 
never assume, my dear. Poor old Bill. Looks like he's come to the end of his rope. All over, Trist! You can come down now! We'll meet you inside! Go on, I'll be all right. Go on, that's a good lad. That's such a good lad. I'm not going until I've got what's mine. Yours? Uh, yours? Uh, I don't understand, my dear. The locket. Locket, 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 locket. No, I oh, don't recall any locket. Bacon. The police are coming up here any second. Hmm. Pretty. Oh, well, it's not quite right for a strapping young man like yourself. How about a uh, uh, nice little uh, uh, powder case for that special woman in your life? <laughs> no, uh, uh, I... A locket, Fagin. <clears throat> or I peach. Peach? Peach on Fagin? Who brought you in when you was nothing more than a ragamuffin and smelling like a pig? Peach on Fagin, who clothed you and fed you? You taught me to steal and cheat. Yes, I did that. <laughs> and look how you repay me, huh? Trying to take my hard earned treasure from me and threatening to peach on me. <laughs> oh, what's happening to young people today? The locket, Fagin. Take it. Go on. Go on, you miserable little schemer. It's true. Would have had me. I would have starved or frozen to death. Don't worry, Fagin. I won't peach. It is my wife. You've been telling the truth all along. Oliver, please forgive me. There's nothing to forgive, Grandfather. Here he is. Get the wagon in. Yes, All right. Roger, Mr. Brando will help. I'll tell him everything. And then he'll tell the police. And then you'll be free. What? You want to deprive me of my right to matriculate to that great institution of higher study and learning? I'm just afraid they're going to stick me in one of them measly lockups so it ain't got the personnel who can teach me all I needs to know. I hope they puts me in a nice outstanding Bravo in the kingdom. I don't like to think of you in prison. Oh, I need to use me time well. Since when I comes out, I'm an honor to my profession and a credit to pickpockets everywhere. You see, mate, we both got what we wanted. You found your family, and I get the chance to better myself and be true golden. What more can a couple of little rotters like us ask for? I'll come and visit you. Nah, that ain't the place for you. Just think of me now and then. I'll never forget you, Dodger. And I won't forget you neither. Come on. And one day, when he goes reaching for your pocketbook and it's missing, you know the artful Dodger ain't far away. Bye, Dodger. How are you? In you go. Here.
goodness is rewarded. Remember that my son had lived by.